everyone. So welcome to a very important video for J Advance, BitSat, and AIM examination. I want to discuss some very important and common tips. So first of all, I shall begin with the J Advance. Before beginning with that, let me tell you that I am very thankful to all of you for all the love and support that you have shown in the reviews on an academy and in the comment section. I literally owe you a lot. Thank you so much for that. And before beginning with this video, let me give you a very important life tip, which is uh, I've learned from the Gaurav Munjal, who is the CEO and co-founder of An Academy. When I had spent a day with him, he had told me that whenever you're preparing for an examination, don't try to keep any other examination as a backup for it. Let me say like you give the bitset examination, okay? Then you people think that we can keep J Advance as a backup because uh, J Advance has gone very good for us. Like you have prepared very well, you have given the exam and you are scoring very well. But don't try to keep that examination as a backup plan for you. Always give the exam, any other exam with the same zeal and the preparation that you have given. So that is the most important tip which I want to share here that never keep any backup plan in your life. Okay. Now let us begin with this video. Before beginning with this video, can you please give a thumbs up for it because I never ask for thumbs up in a video. But this is a pre preparation video which generally takes a lot of time to prepare. So it would be really good if you give a thumbs up. So now let us begin with the first part for this video which is regarding the J advance. In the second part I shall be dealing, uh, that is this video only I shall be dealing with the aims and the bit side examination. So first of all let me tell you that this uh, video is made by a person who has himself cleared the examination and I am not that kind of a person who had scored very well. Actually I have scored uh, good marks you can say but not in the high range. I got around 2000 something rank, 2049 to be exact. But this is not the rank scorer who is all in a rank 1 or 2 because most of us people are the kind of people who have done hard work in order to reach to this level. We weren't born with some of the great brains or something like that but we have worked very hard in order to reach this destination and that is why I want to share some very important tips regarding it. This video will be a general video regarding the tips and for the subject tips like the physics, chemistry, maths I shall be giving you a link in the description where you can watch the unacademy video for um, the preparation of physics, chemistry and math separately. Okay, so that will be also very helpful for you. So let us begin with this video. So the order of first of all how to attempt the paper, the first thing. The first thing is that you should begin with the single correct type questions. What the people do is that they aim for the multiple correct because they give you plus 4 marks or partial marking is also present nowadays. But what I want you people to do is that begin with a single correct because they have the negative marking I admit but uh, they have only single correct option correct types. So if you are getting the answer then you are right. If you are not getting you can leave the question. Okay, the most important thing the, which you should remember is that whenever you try the paragraph type questions, uh, don't try the first question and leave the whole paragraph. What the people do is that if the first question is hard, then they leave the entire question. That thing shouldn't be done because let me tell you, like we have code 0 to 9. Okay, so like we have three questions in a particular paragraph. So what will be the exam, what will be the uh, changes in the question paper according to the codes? The changes will be that the question will be jumbled. Like the question number one for the paragraph in your paper, maybe the question number three for the other code of the paper. So when people just try a particular question, that is the first question of the paragraph and then they leave the other question, then it becomes very cumbersome because you have left nine marks there only. So what I want you people to do is that always try the first question, then the second question, then the third question. Try all the three questions in a particular paragraph before leaving that paragraph because the order may not be same for all the codes of that particular paper. Okay. Now after attempting the paragraph, I want you people to go on to the integer section because that is the section which doesn't have the negative and we will get a correct uh, single type correct option only. Okay. So that is also the most important thing. First of all, single correct type, then the paragraph types, then the integer types, then move on to the matchup types and then move on to the multiple correct choice types. Between integer and matchups, you can jumble according to your wish. But the first thing should always be done that single correct and the paragraph and the most important type for the paragraph is that you should try all the questions because the question may be jumbled up according to the code of the paper. So this is the first most important tip. The second most important tip is that which I have already shared in one of my videos regarding Jay Main. The most important tip is that don't take any question on your ego. Okay, what the people do is that like they have studied the coordinate geometry very well. But you would have seen that the papers or the questions from the coordinate geometry are very well versed. They are very good questions actually because the chapter is easy. So if the chapter is easy then the question will be of a higher level. Like probability if you take, the, pro the probability chapter is considered to be hard in nature. But if you honestly I will say that I had only practiced probability from the NCERT only. I can show you my algebra book whatever you have seen I have already told in many videos that probability I had practiced only from the NCERT but still I got the right answer in the advanced examination. So kindly see that please probability should be done from the NCERT only and that will be very helpful for you. 
probability and 3D geometry are the two chapters in mathematics which should be very well practiced from the NCRT. Okay, so that tip should also be remembered. Don't take any question on your ego. That is the next important tip. Now, what you have to remember is that the most important tip at this particular moment that many people will try to solve the papers, get the papers from other coaching institutes or their own coaching institutes, try to see the previous year papers. But what my tip, let me give you a general order in how to solve the papers and how to practice in order to get good marks in the exam. So first of all, your major mission should be that complete the whole syllabus. Okay, begin from the point A to the point Z. Okay, the syllabus which is given to you, it is you can take the print out, take the print out, and then uh, keep on underlining the topics that you have finished. For example, if you complete the vectors today, okay, then find the topic vectors in the paper and keep on underlining those topics. The examination will be from the given set of syllabus only. It cannot be outside that uh, syllabus because then you will always obviously see that there will be a lot of paperwork going on in the country. So the next important tip is that whenever you are doing the revision, first of all try to complete the whole syllabus and then go on to solve the papers. Now I assume that you have completed the syllabus. Now how to go on solving the papers let me tell you. Take the previous year question papers from 2013. These are the tips which I am giving for advanced right now. Take the papers from 2013 to till 2017 okay? because the pattern more or less has changed from 2013 year uh, that is set by IIT Delhi from 2013 on, on, in the year 2013 then uh, the various other IITs. So what I want the people to do is that take the question papers from 2013, paper 1, paper 2 and keep on solving them. Now how to solve them? First of all take the time period as 9 to 12 and 2 to 5 because if we are preparing for the examination then we must know how to sit in the surroundings also. Okay, there shouldn't be any excuse on the day of exam that I hadn't practiced well or I used to sleep in a 2 to 5 period. So that thing should be taken into consideration. Whenever you're solving a paper, try to make the surroundings around you in the form of the J Advanced Exam Hall. By God grace, if you get good examination hall, then it is very good. But you can also get a, a bad examination hall where the fans won't be running or something like that. Or it may be cooking sound, something like that. So what I want you people to do is that try to keep yourself in the harshest environment possible. Don't try to drink water for those three hours. Don't go to the bathroom. Don't go to the toilet, etc. Whatever you do. But always keep on following the paper during those three hours. Trust me, only 10 to 15 days are left for the major examinations across India. And if you clear this examination, see you have to go to some college. Then why not to begin with the best colleges in the nation? Okay. So that is the tip which you, you should remember. Don't try to keep up a backup plan that I have given VIT, I have given other exams. Always try to keep the focus on a major examination, examination which is held across that date. Okay. Now I have told you that solve the previous year papers from 2013 to 2017. Before that I don't think it will be of any use 2012 2011 but it, you should solve from the time period 9 to 12 and 2 to 5 and don't sleep during the afternoon period. So this is the next important, time, uh, important tip. Now inorganic and organic. These two subjects are very important. Trust me organic. If you see a paper like paper 2 or paper 1 it is most probably only dependent upon organic many times. I have seen this uh, thing many times that a particular paper only depends on organic. So that thing should also be taken into consideration. Inorganic and organic are way underrated but they are very important for advanced. You can see the maximum number of questions in chemistry would come from them. Now confidence is the key, the next important point, whenever you are preparing for examination, the confidence is the key. So please, please, please don't lose confidence at this moment. I know many students will be in depression at this moment, but please get out of that. Try to watch some comedy shows or something like that, but please get the confidence right back. So this is the major tip which I wanted to share for advance. That single correct paragraph and then integer matchups and then multiple correct choice. Okay. I place the link in the description for an academy videos where you will be watching that how to deal with the particular physics, chemistry, maths paper in a more efficient manner. Now let me begin with the bit set and the aim steps. First of all, let me tell you that these examinations are of easy level in comparison to the J advanced. Because if you see that if an exam is easy, then there will be obviously more number of questions. Okay, now more number of questions imply that we have to manage our time very well. Okay, now what is the time saving procedure you should follow? First of all, begin with chemistry. Obviously, you, you have heard it many a times. But if you are giving bit set, try to begin with the, uh, I would say, mental ability or the English section first because you will see that the questions are very, very, very easy in those sections. I don't know what you have heard from the people or not, but the bit set paper is very, very, very easy. Okay, in comparison to J mains also. So even if you have not performed well in the mains, you will see that your marks will be very good in the bit set exam also. 
Okay, so please work hard for bit side. If your mains was not good, don't lose hope. You will perform very well in the bit side examination. Try to see that you are able to go through the paper once and all. What I mean to say this by this point is that try to solve all the questions that you see in the particular format. Like you one to five. Let me say one to five. You are able to solve three questions. Then move on forward. Don't try to fix onto one question because that will manage. That will disrupt all the time managing properties that you have already learned. I would say that two to three papers are enough for you during the practice examination. The most important tip for Bitsat and Ames is that try to finish the syllabus first of all because the question will come from every chapter. Okay, for every chapter, at least one question will be there, and that question will be very easy for the Bitsat examination also. So if you have if you have just learned the formulas also for a particular chapter, you would see that you will be able to perform very well. My physics wasn't very good according to the advanced and the mains level. I scored only 28 out of 120 in the J mains. That was mathematics which saved me finally. But you can see that in the physics, in the bit side, I was able to solve many, many, many questions. Okay, so you can see that uh, the level of the paper in the bit side will be very easy. In the aims and bit side, you should focus on the time management first of all. Begin with the chemistry section, mostly inorganic and organic first of all. Then physical, and if you are a mathematics student, then you should do the physics or mathematics according to your wish, whichever is stronger for you. And if you are a bio student, then go for the bio section after chemistry section. Okay, so that is how the paper has to be attempted. Please, please, please work hard. Only 10 to 15 days are left. See, these 10 to 15 days are the ones in which you can make your life or I won't say destroy your life, but at this particular moment, the major aim for your life is these examinations. Okay, you don't have any other major goals. Right? You don't have to earn money outside or you have to work very hard to feed your family or something like that. The only major mission, the parents are paying for it. So you should work very hard because this is the type of investment that they're doing onto you. So that should be also taken into consideration. It takes a lot of hard work to earn even one rupee in now, nowadays in the cut fruit competition that you can see all around you. So first of all, motivation and the confidence is the key. Please work hard for all of these examinations. Don't try to keep any backup plan in your mind. These are the main examinations. See, you have to go to a particular college. Then why not to begin with the college that strengthens your base, that provides you an opportunity to meet the people who are of your level. Okay, so that should also be taken into consideration. And last thing which I wanted to say here is that thanks for all the love and support. And in the link in the description is the is for the an academy where I provided the most important chapters which should be revised during these 10 days and the tips for physics, chemistry, math separately, which you can see. So this was the video regarding the tips for J advanced examination. I know you people are preparing very well. I have seen in my mathematics crash course WhatsApp group that how the people are preparing, how much they are uh, solving many questions. I according to my um, According to their requirements, they are doing very well. Please work hard. Only 10 days are left. Try to give 9 to 10 hours during these uh, 10 days. Otherwise, at the end, you will be thinking, Kash wo padh liya hota. Kash wo reh gaya. Wo reh gaya. Kash wo padh liya hota. Manos time pe. So that feeling shouldn't be there. At the end, you should be like, I've completed everything. I've done everything well. I'll perform very well in these examinations which are going to come. And uh, I'll make my parents proud basically. That is the most important thing. So I would end this video here and best of luck to all of you. You people have always been great. Keep on working hard because there is no substitute to hard work. So thank you and Jai.